Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about flying the ASW-20 glider. Can you do a non-assist takeoff safely? I made this video so other ASW flyers can give us feedback. Hello everybody, my name is Roy and I'm making this video to figure out, to get a response about flying the ASW-20 non-assist, but perhaps adding some wheel at the tip so that you could accomplish that and you know I'm, I'm a novice myself I fly Texas Soaring Association and learned on the ASK 21 and then we have PW5s and a 126s that we fly and I've did that for about three years or four years and then last year I bought an ASW 20 and I found that the Facebook group is very helpful. There's so many people there that have so much knowledge and it's a great place. So on this video, uh, pros and cons are greatly appreciated. That's what the group is all about. Maybe you would say never do a, a non-assist takeoff, but maybe if you had wheels, maybe you could. So I'd certainly like some feedback regarding that. So what I did and I got this idea from one of the other members. He carries a, we'll call this a two inch one, and he carries one of those and this uh, 3M tape with him. So if you did have to do a non assist takeoff, there, you might have a better chance of doing that. And of course, for our club, is it would have to be at a grass strip or an asphalt runway or cement runway. They just, they're not going to tow you out unless you're in one of those areas. So I started looking at it and I went to Harbor Freight and bought a four inch and that one weighs 20, let's see, 25 ounces. And it's really just too big period, but I got it anyway. Then I bought two three inch ones. And this one weighs about 11 ounces. Okay. And here's another design and it weighs nine ounces. Then I have a two inch one, weighs about six ounces. So when I started looking at them, obviously the first thing that I noticed, you'll see in here, it's not a flat surface at all. So your tape is not really gonna be able to stick to all of this. So what I did is I used some epoxy and I'll show you that in a minute and I filled in everything and from there I just took a, a belt sander put it on the belt sander and ground it off and I haven't done the four holes yet I haven't ground those out yet but anyway now you've got a larger area surface area to apply your tape. And you can see the same thing here, same issue. You'd need to fill this in. And I just simply use some tape like this. And, oh, look at the difference too. These are both three inch ones, but look at the surface area here compared to the other one. And they only weigh a few ounces different. So I'm thinking I might use this one as a possible and the two out, two inch one. <clears throat> so to fill in that gap, what I use is some five minute epoxy. You could use 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour epoxy. But the key is you wanna mix it with alcohol so it pours more or less like water. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a model airplane guy, so <clears throat> if you are, you're probably familiar with that technique. And then we're just going to use some isopropyl alcohol. And I've got it in this bottle here. So I'm going to put some of that in there. And even though it's five minute epoxy, it's not going to cure that quick because I'm adding this alcohol to it. And this will make it flow out real easy. If I don't have enough, I'll just make up another batch. So 
So now I'm going to pour it in there. Oh, yeah, I have enough. And I'll put some in each hole. Remember, after this cures, you need to let it cure at least 24 hours or until it's rock hard. All right. And I'm just going to set that down in a place level. Oops, it looks like I could use a little more here. Okay, if it overflows, because you're going to sand it off later. Now I'm going to put that aside to let that cure. And then when I sand it down, I'll have this large area to use the, the scotch. Extremely strong tape, they say. Oops, spilling a little bit. Okay, so I'll put that over here. So again, by the time you fill it all in, you're going to have this large area. <coughs> And you get this at your hardware store or Amazon even has it <clears throat> if you don't want to go to the store <clears throat> and I'll put a link to Harbor Freight's swivel casters they're called and a link for the tape too of course you'll need the alcohol You've probably got some in your house if you haven't used it up already for COVID Five minute epoxy, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour really doesn't matter. <clears throat> you know, a cup to mix it in and something to stir it up with. And so I'm going to carry, not this one, that's the four inch, we're not using it, the three inch and this two inch and the tape and a razor blade too, put it in a bag and, and uh, just try it and see what happens. But <clears throat> you might have different ideas about it. You may say, never. Never do it even with that on there. I don't know. But I know there's a lot of people in the group that have a lot of experience. And pros and cons is, is perfectly fine because that's how we learn, don't we? And then I'll show you the, the sander here in just a minute and how we work that. And I've already kind of sanded this area down already. But I filled in these holes here so I can have this as a complete surface area for my tape. So we'll just turn it on. <clears throat> You guys have a great day and we'll see you in the air next time. Bye-bye.